YouTube, how's it going? Tweak Bigfoot back with another Animal Crossing video, and today we're gonna do some dream address hopping. So before I get into this, I wanna address a few things. Um, if you've watched my Animal Crossing content before, you're gonna know that I said this right here. I think this is a game I'll probably make more videos about. I won't devote my entire channel to it, but I do love making them, so you can expect to see more of them. Uh, and at the time, I meant it. I didn't mean to be like maining this game, but I recently decided that like I love playing Animal Crossing. Uh, the animals and like the, my island actually brings me a good amount of joy. So I want to make videos about it. So I'm going to be posting more Animal Crossing content than anything else. I'm going to be maining it in quotations. Uh, I'm still going to post other content, whether it's like uh, Call of Duty, Rocket League, maybe some like one-off videos about Assassin's Creed or really whatever I'm playing. But I'm going to be posting a lot of Animal Crossing content. Um, and I thought, what better, better, better way to start that than by doing some Dream Island hopping. So today, we're going to hop to an island. We're going to pick a random one, and we're going to get to it. Uh, if you don't know what Dream Island hopping, whatever you want to call it, is, um, you can dream. You go into your bed and you dream, and Luna brings you this sick-looking environment, first of all. It's real cool. Um, and we go to visit other people's islands. So... We are gonna pick a random island um, that someone's uploaded. You can put in, you can put in a code if you want. Like if someone has like a sweet Harry Potter themed island, which they do exist, you can put in their code and visit it. Um, but I'm gonna go and just pick a random one, and we'll see how it goes. Let's go surprise me today. Maybe I will pick a really cool island and do a tour of it. But uh, today we're gonna pick a random one. I really like this. I just went through the whole. T I actually recorded this like two minute intro beforehand. Um, and then I had to do the whole tutorial setup for this, so I've never really done these before. So we're gonna hop into it. Um, this is my very first like one. We're going to Sunnyville. Cool. Oh man, I hope this is the trailer park from Trailer Park Boys. That would be awesome. As a good, <laughs> as a good first video. Oh man. Oh, it's Sunnyvale. Oh man, it's probably not the one. But anyway, what's cool about these is you can just like someone's uploaded a like a snapshot of their island, you know, like this island. <laughs> We can come here, we can visit, um, we can talk to the villagers, we can interact, but we can't wreck their island. We can't destroy anything. I don't even think we can take anything. But, uh, yeah, we're here in Sunnyville, and we are gonna see who their villagers are, see what the island looks like. Um, if any of you want to visit me, let me know, and I'll put my comment, or my code down below. Uh, I just need to update my island a bit, but let's, uh, let's get into this. I'm gonna head to the airport and start from the beginning. Where's their airport? Oh man, where's their airport? Uh, right here. Beach. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's the airport. Okay. So we're going to start at the airport. They've got Marina. Hello, Marina. Let's, uh, well, they got a green airport. That's really cool. I like their flag. Let's, uh, let's get right into it. So they've got signs which are really nicely laid out. I really like that. Um, a juice bar. See, I like the sign they've made for that. And a huge star fragment. See, I can, like, do any of this. I can sit and mess and... I can't move stuff around, but it's a really cool way to experience other people's islands. So they've got, I don't know who that cow is. It's not Tipper. This is Marina. Um, yeah, we haven't met before, Marina. I've never been here. Um, if this is your island, if, if whoever owns this island, if you see this video, all credit goes to you. Um, I, these aren't my islands. And if you'd like it taken down or uh, anything, let me know. Full credit goes to this person. If you know who it is, please comment down below and I will be for sure to credit them. Uh, oh man, they've got... Okay, so that's... Sherry? Sherry the monkey. Deli. Nope, I'm wrong. Okay. So, I think it's really cool because you get to experience other villagers and, like, see the themes. Pop, poppy. Okay, Pappy. And you get to experience the, uh, you know, the vision they had for their island. And there's some cool ones out there. So, I'll probably be doing, like, one per video. Unless it's, like, a really small island. Then I'll maybe do two. Um, and eventually I'm going to give an updated tour of my own island. Wow, this is sweet. Okay, barbecuing indoors can't be a good idea. <laughs> uh, I will give an updated tour of my island because eventually it's going to be where I want it. Kid, I've seen you before. The only rule is there's no rules. Okay, kid. Uh, except don't put your feet on the furniture. <laughs> okay, kid. Okay. Um, yeah, I really like this game. I, I love playing it and I love updating my island. I will also be doing um, villager tier lists. So like I'm gonna take the category of villagers, say the sheep will probably be the first one I do. And I'm gonna give my rating on um, who I like, like out of all of them, who my favorite are and my least favorite. We're gonna do that. So I'm really excited for that as well. Again, I know that's not 
you know, super original. It's definitely been done before, but I want to give my opinion on it. And yeah, let's go see Cherry. I know this is Cherry uh, because my girlfriend had or has Cherry. I forget if she's still around or not. But hello, Cherry. I like this theming. Um, and Cherry's awesome. She's like a spooky dog. All blurry and stuff today. <laughs> I like that they have like special, um, you know, they have special like voice lines for if you are on a dream island or not. I think it's pretty cool. All right. I'm honestly liking this island layout so far. This is pretty cool. Sunnyvale. Okay. Do, do, do. I don't know who this cat is. Um, here. Here's the creator. She's not playing right now. This will be like the the NPC version of her. Thank you for having me here. Um, so she's uploaded this herself. I like the basic, you know, fireplace looking thing. Flamingo here is my favorite because Flamingo is my favorite animal. I can pick this stuff up, but I, it won't come back with me. Like even if I pick up a calorie, as far as I know, maybe I'm wrong. But if I pick up like all this stuff, I believe it doesn't come back with me. So we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping to eventually find an island that has Puck so I can love him forever because I, I want him. Uh, I like this. This is very like chill. Who are you? You're not Mary. You're a kitty. <laughs> okay. You do realize this is my private dream space, and yet here you are regardless. Ya dig? What's everyone saying? Ya dig? Is that like their catchphrase she's assigned? Um, odd. I like this little like simple decor room. I have that wallpaper, I think. So that's kind of cool. I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what islands I can find here. Let's keep going on a tour. So we've seen the juice bar. I like the, I'm assuming this is the neighborhood. This is... Uh, oh man, I see some villagers. I know. This is Iggly, I think. Iggly? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Iggly. One of my favorite chickens is back there. And I'm very excited to see him. I haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Iggly. Yeah, hi, Iggly. I did, I've never seen a penguin. Like, I have one here. I'm seeing it them right now. But I've never seen a penguin in my game on any mystery islands. I've never come to my campsite. Not a single one. Um, so, it's really cool to see a penguin. Um, you know, I've seen rolled before on other people's islands. But, no penguins for old Bigfoot. So, eventually, eventually I'll find one. But, this is... They're not home. Bonbon. Bon. Yeah, Coco is a little different. Um, okay. So they've got like a nice layout here. Um, I'm very excited to see Egbert. I haven't seen him in forever. They've got like the little beach area. Uh, Marina's house. We've already been to Marina. I can't, so Marina's not home, but I can personally tell you because someone I knew had her on her island that it, the interior is literally all pink. It's pink everything. It's pink. It's like a pink explosion. Oh. This is nice. What is this fireplace? Egbert, you're balling. It looks, the mess, it looks beautiful in here. I haven't cleaned my room in ever. <laughs> okay, this is a dream. This is beautiful. I love the log cabin design. Like this is fantastic. I want this fireplace. So I will be trying to find that somewhere. Goodbye, Egbert. I had him in the pocket camp. Um, for a long time. I had him, I think he was like the first, I was just taking jocks, and he was like the first not jock I took. And he was a really funny in pocket camp. This belongs to Roscoe. I'm not here. This is Marina. Is this all the villagers? Let's take a look. Yes, this is all the villagers. Okay. We haven't seen Poppy or Roscoe yet. Uh, this is simple. I like it. Someone's at their campsite. Let's go take a look at that. Whoever's at the campsite. Um, okay, let's take a look at this one. Oh, nope, sorry, no one is in there. Normally when there's a tent here, it means someone is there, but I guess maybe for the Dream Island that they have it a little different. Um, ooh, this is nice. Oh, they got a pirate area, that's really cool. Um, that's very, very cool, actually. I have all the pirate stuff. Uh, actually, I don't have the cannon. I have everything but the cannon. So that's kind of cool I have. The pirate stuff you get from Gullivar, from when he lands up on the beach. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Okay, it seems like they put a lot of time into this. I'm loving the pathing. I don't have a lot of good pathing. Like, these are all custom rock paths that someone's made, and they look beautiful. Um, so that's really cool. Up here is, like, a little... Oh, this is beautiful. Is this, like, a little spot? Oh, this is this is wonderful. We got a lighthouse up there. Um, this is how I envision my spot being, so maybe I'll have to add bamboo. Uh, ripping stuff off from you, Debbie. I'm sorry. I... Ooh, that's beautiful. A little sakura plant, or uh, cherry blossom, sorry. Um, 
Yeah, maybe I need to add cherry blossoms and bamboo, because that's honestly how I envision my spot area. And it's like a little hobby. Okay, it's a little hot path here. And we're back at the tailor shop. Ooh, she got a Wonder Woman custom design. That's very nice. Um, let's go up here, I guess. Open. Pool open. That's really cool. See, again, this is like, I really need to add my spa area. I should put some vending machines in there. I'm not going to have my laundry hanging, but this rock thing she's got, it's beautiful. And I, I need to find out what it is and where to get it. I know it'll be a DIY, but I really want it. This is quite nice. Oh, okay, you can hop to there, the spa. Okay. Very nice. I wonder if she should have put a diagonal bridge here. I mean, it's your island, Debbie. I'm not critiquing. I think her name is Debbie. Um, a side with like a, a diagonal bridge would be really cool, but so is the path. There. Um, this is a very nice laid out pool area. It's quite nice. It's the flamingo is a very nice touch. Let's go up. So she's got fishing ponds. That's very cool. It's a smart idea. And then the do not enter area. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. Everyone's gonna have that area. This kind of looks like a stargazing. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's really cool to see what people do because like I have my design. And all of you will have your own design. So seeing what people do is really, really cool. Okay, I got flowers and lighthouse up here. I'm glad I can run and not mess up her flowers. Because if you run over flowers, you'll wreck them. Oh, no, I'm wrecking them. But it's just the dream, so. Oh, well. I like what she's done with the flowering there. It's very nice. I also love this third floor pond. Well, certain fish will spawn on a third floor pond or river. So it's good to have. A lawnmower. Cool, so the do not enter area. This is where, um... This is where uh, Red will dock it every time he's here. So that's really cool. She just made like a slant. Maybe I should do that. That's really cool. Because mine's like a weird double ledge thing. Uh, this is the camping area maybe. I'm liking that she's got the, the beehive out. That's really cool. And like the hopping pass is really good way to like make your island easier to hop around. Oh my goodness. No running. Okay, I'll, I will. Wow, this is stunning. This looks like every flower in the game. Yeah, she has really done a good job on this. Ooh, and there's like her World Wonders. Oh, I'll go check those out in a minute. Oh, wow. This is magnificent. Wow. There's Marina. Debbie, this is really cool. If you ever see this, this, this is very cool. All right. Let's go over to the World Wonders we just saw. I've got like a nice garden area here. Wow, this is beautiful. And she's got like a little like uh, jazz cafe area. This is This is very cool. I like that she doesn't have flooring everywhere. Like, I put flooring everywhere if I have an area, but she doesn't. And I like that. It makes it feel more natural. So, that's a really cool addition. Let's go take a look over here. Um, okay, yeah. So, what she's done is all these things here. I want that surfboard. For, oh, I can't. There's no ladder. Okay. Um, there's obviously a way to get around to that. But what this is, is when you rescue Gulliver, not Gulliver, off your beach, he'll send you an item. And it can be something random. Um, but it, he's like a set pool, I believe. And a lot of them are like historical items. So she's got the pyramids, and you can kind of see Stonehenge over there. Let's see if I can get around. Um, and you put them on your island. They're very cool. I have Stonehenge and... Uh, Stonehenge and... The Sphinx? The pyramids? I'm stuck. I have two of them, for sure. I haven't gotten a lot of them. I didn't see Gulliver for the first three months of my playing. Oh, this is cool. That's a little park. I like that she made that pink wall. That's very nice. It's like a good uh, child edition. Child park edition? Yeah, okay. Like a nice place to cut. Flower garden, no running. Okay, we've seen that. We're trying to get over to the... Oh, unique. Just like a little place to sit. We're trying to get over to the World Wonders. We saw money trees everywhere. Um, her house. Let's go see her house, actually. A golden rose. I have one of them. I forget how I got it. Oh, I got it from someone on Reddit. Because they t they were like, please take Rocket away. Oh, this is wonderful. Wow. She's got Roscoe's picture up there. This is a very good use of the space. The dollar horse, that comes from um, Gulliver as well. And then the pictures. These were from uh, the event. These were from the wedding event that I didn't put much stock into. Oh, she's had a lot of people come and go. That's really cool. A lot of photos up here. Very good use. She loves Wonder Woman. I'm getting that vibe. All right, let's quickly check out her house and then probably call it a day. Oh, I like her bedroom. 
A bedroom? Bathroom? Yeah, I think this is the bedroom because this is the a bed. Okay. Very nice use of the space. I have a room similar to it with the same theming. So a little hint from my house video, but very nice room there. Let's go up into her... See, this is my bedroom up here, so I just always expect people to have theirs. But let's go take a look up here. If you guys want to see more content like this, let me know. I want to do a lot more of these. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a very nice bathroom. You can't get in the tub, sadly. But, wow, this is a very good use of the space. Let's quickly... Uh, oh, can't? Okay. Yeah, that's a very nice theming on here. And then her towel racks look wonderful. Okay. Wow, I am... Blown away by this house so far. This is wonderful. My house is definitely something I need to improve on, so I'm always taking tips and like learning from other people. I'm not trying to steal their stuff, but you know, what are, what can I do better? That's a koi fish in there and a bird in a cage. Which I think is funny, because you can also see like a hamster in a cage, but there's hamster villagers. Uh this is a wow, this is a nice kitchen. See, this is a nice layout for the kitchen. She got a little like area to sit in, got the deep freeze, you know, hide a body. This is actually, if you open this, you can change your wardrobe of all things. Very odd. Uh, wow, this is very, very nice. It makes me realize I need a lot more DIYs and items. I also want that wall. I don't have that wall. Um, there's one Tia has. It's like a tea room wall, and I want that as well. I don't have it yet. For someone that plays a lot of Animal Crossing, I don't have a lot of stuff. So. Ooh, this is really nice. Is this... A second bedroom, her her bedroom. This is kind of what uh, Marina's looks like, just pink everywhere. This is very nice. Get the the bunny day cake, I think, and the birthday cake. That's very cool. Rover's briefcase. That's a really cool item you get from a special day event. Overall, very nice bedroom. No complaints there. I know it's going to become a long video. I don't think all of them will be this long, but they might be if they've got really cool islands. Let's hop on down here, and let's see what we find. Oh, okay. Yeah. Favorite room of the house right here. This is what I want my rec room to be like. I'm loving the helmets on the wall. That's a really cool idea I hadn't thought about. Pinball machines, the dartboards. This, this is a nice room. This to me feels like a very nice, like, you know, space chill out area. So, wow, this is really nice. I'm definitely taking ideas from this. Okay, I like that. And that's the house. I kind of sped through the house, but that's it. And... Oh, did we go upstairs? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's our room. That was wonderful. That was a very nice house. Let's go see the historical items, and then we'll call it a... We'll call it a day. Oh, there's the horse. Poppy. Where's my pillow? Are they like a, a zebra? They got zebra... Oh, maybe they're wearing leggings? No, they can't. Maybe they are a zebra. Nice fishing area. I like that. Oh, you put your, like, gas up your boat? Okay. I love the surfboards. I didn't collect all of them. There's five to collect, and you get one on your island, and then you have to, like, trade with people. I only have... I have two of them, actually. So to see her full collection makes me jealous. Um, there's our last bunny. We're not going to go back around. But I just wanted to come focus on this. This is, uh... Very, very cool. Do my favorite... You know, my favorite emote. And, uh... Yeah, this is a very, very nice... Um, island. Overall, like, I would give this, like, an 8 for 10. I liked it a lot. Where's my camera? There it is. Um, it was a very nice place to stop. She's got the Stonehenge, the, uh, the North Pole, the Easter Egg, or Easter Head, oh, Easter Island Head, the Pyramid, the King Top Mask, which is actually craftable. Um, I think that's a hair piece in the back. I don't have this one yet. And Pisa. You can have Pisa. So, that's all. That's the whole island. Uh, this was Sunnyville. Not Sunnyvale like I was hoping. That would have been epic. But, you know, this is Sunnyville. Um, I think her name is Debbie. Yeah, again, if you, Debbie, if you see this, all credit goes to you. Just let me know and I'll, I'll make sure to tag you in the video. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to find our way back to the bed, which should be somewhere. Uh, oh, wait, did we not see any of this? We didn't see this stuff. Oh, no. I can't do my outro yet. This is wonderful. There's a museum. We're not going to go in the museum because it's a museum. Though, actually, I do want to see her art collection, so maybe we will. We will go in the museum. Um, these are... I don't know what bug that is. Maybe the Atlas Moth? You can get your special bugs made from Flick. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go up and take a look. There's Blathers. 
Uh, I'm not going to stop in on the fossils and the bugs and everything else because if you've been playing for a long time, you have them all. So you could probably go to your own museum and see those, but the art is really cool because I want to see what you know she's got. Okay, she's got a lot of statues. A lot of the pictures. These are hard to get because red only comes once every two weeks. So you have to, or I mean, technically you can come every week, but it's it's usually once every two weeks. So if you trade people online, um, you know, then it's pretty cool, but it's a long process. This is wonderful. I love that. I love this stone. I don't know the actual name for it. The warrior statue. That is very, very cool. The, the terracotta army. Love that. Yeah, absolutely cool. So, okay, that's the museum. A lot of art. Not as much art as I was expecting, but like I said, they're very hard to get and collect. So, we will head on out, and we will go back down, and fall back asleep, or wake back up, and that'll be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it's been like a long one. It's about a 20 minute video, 21, 21 minute video. Um, I know they're long, but I really appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, I love doing these. I wanna do more of them. Uh, since we found the bed, there she is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.